So did everyone get a piece of paper to write with? Let's see if we are ready to get this going. Okay, Sharon is ready. She has her paper and pen already. Um, so this week we are on week 37 of the A Layer A Day Challenge. If you are just joining us, welcome to the challenge. Yes, I always have my wand when I talk to you live. Um, so this challenge is going to run from September 14th until, until September 21st, 2019. So if you're watching this in, on a later time, year, well, then you missed it because this is 2019. Um, this month we are taking a look at our own art channeling. So we've already started with the color palette, having a little look at the color palette. Is that noise as disturbing for you as it is for me? If it's not disturbing for you, I don't care. But if you can hear it as much as I can hear it, that is not okay. So please do let me know. Um, last week we had a look at the shape that we want to use. And I think I did surprise a couple of you with how many circles I could put into my spread. Find you not? Have you in the auto gekeken? Ook niet. Oké, okay, dan zal ik straks nog eens moeten kijken. Nee, dat zit niet bij mij in mijn zakken. Oké, okay, ik zal straks nog eens kijken. Dank u wel, schattenbol. Oké, okay. sorry for this. Kiddo just came back to... Oh, thank you, Helen. Oké, okay, so it's only for me. Um... <laughs> Let's focus back into things. That phone will pop up again. I'm sure of it. Um... So last week we had a look at the shape that we like to use. And like I said, I pushed as much circles as I could into that spread. Uh, I was surprised by many of your shapes last week in uh, the group. It was a very interesting thing to do. But what we're going to do this week is going to be even more interesting. So I take it that you now all have your piece of paper and your pen at the ready. I'm going to give you a minute or two to write down what your go-to technique is when it comes to art channeling. What is that one thing that you cannot do without? For me, that would be circles with an ombre within the circle. That is something that appears on every spread. That is what I would be writing down. But I want you to write down what your absolutely go-to thing is. What is that one thing that you cannot do without? Please do write that down. Meanwhile, I'm going to put on a little music or something. We need some music here. Do you have some music? You don't? <laughs> You're not helping me. <laughs> okay, so I'm waiting for you yeah. to... Oh yes, you do know this, Natasha. Don't say anything. Don't say anything. Are we done writing? Do we have something on the paper? Do we know what it is we cannot do without? I'm so curious to see what you're all writing down. <laughs> if you want to wave, you can come and wave to the camera. <laughs> oh, you don't dare to, don't you? Yeah, go, go and hide. <laughs> so that's my youngest son who's playing very bravely with my nerves he thinks <laughs> he thinks that this is putting me off okay do we have it on paper i <laughs> love the music thank you <laughs> did we write it down okay now whatever it is that you put on that little piece of paper this week's challenge will be anything but that this week's challenge title, prompt, however you want to call it, is not this time. So whatever it is you put on the paper is the one thing that you will not be doing this week. Yes, I am exactly <laughs> going to make you do that. But I'm also going to tell you why, and maybe that will help you put things in perspective. Now, if you've ever taken an art channel class with me, this is something that I do during the art channeling class as well. 
<laughs> you knew it, Abby. I hope you were honest with what you put down on the paper. Um, because I think it's a very interesting exercise. Um, first of all, it gives you the opportunity to have a look into how it affects your process to be taken out of your comfort zone. It's easy to journal within your comfort zone if you already have established one. Um, it gets more complicated when you are taken out of that comfort zone. Um, if you don't have your own comfort zone yet, but the last couple of weeks you have been repeating the same thing over and over and over again, it might allow you to find a new com comfort zone. I'm reading the comments on the side there. <laughs> Natasha, this is an exercise that a lot of people have the same reaction as you do. They hate it at first time, but in the end, it turns into something very interesting. So it might allow you to discover new go-tos, whether you already have your art journaling comfort zone or not. It might help you to get there. Um, if you get stuck, and that is the most important thing about this challenge, because trust me, even I get stuck when I do that exercise sometimes. Um, embrace it. Don't start to fight it. Just think about those five minutes that you're taking to do something in your journal today. And if you're feeling completely stuck because you want to use that one medium or you want to do that circle with the ombre and you cannot because that's this week's challenge. Well, just go with it and, and okay. Hello, frustration. See you tomorrow because I'll be back tomorrow for a new layer and maybe I will have something to beat you when I come back. So, no, you should not have lied, Sharon. Be honest with it. Don't make it... No, let's not change it, Marley. <laughs> you can be as honest or dishonest with this challenge as you want to. It's your challenge. It's your <laughs> channel. <laughs> okay. Ria Christine, your comment is so passive aggressive that YouTube does not want to uh, publish it. Let me publish that. Oh, I cannot publish it. Okay. Kill your darlings. Okay. <laughs> um, I've had, when I did this during classes, the most amazing spreads come out of it. I had someone who journals with a lot of color and what she wrote down was color. She made the most amazing black and white spread uh, with a lot of writing which huh, which was extremely interesting considering that her um, therapist had told her the week or so before you should go back to writing on a regular basis. So she started that journaling spread with writing, 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 writing. And then she journaled with black and white, slightly over it or around it, or but it was an amazing spread. So even if you wrote down color, black and white it is. And trust me, there's a lot to do with black and white. I did a, um, a video with a black and white spread if you need some uh, some um, inspiration so you can go for that uh for me of course it will be my ombre circles <laughs> but nonetheless it will push me into different directions which i i very gladly will explore um okay so take an observing position Take a step back and observe to observe what's happening to you and to your journaling while going through this process. Don't beat yourself up. That is not what we're in for. Um, and remember that it is not about the pretty spread. It is all about the process. There is this thing which we all know that taking me time or indulging into self-care 
is a process. It is not that one thing. I mean, buying yourself a pretty pair of shoes is not really considered self-care. I mean, it's two seconds of fun until you get at the register and you have to pay and then the fun is over. Um, we're in for the same thing. We're in for the process and not the pretty spread. So who cares whatever comes out of this? Take an observing position, look at what is happening to you and your art channeling and enjoy that process. If you're new to art channeling and you need more inspiration, join the closed Facebook group. We are among peers, so everyone's on the same boat and we do cheer each other up. All of us do so, even when I'm not active because of things like designing the new stencils. Anyone? <laughs> um, there is still a lot of encouraging going on, on in the group. That is all I have for this week's challenge. But I am not done yet. I still have a one little thing to tell you. If you want the A Layer A Day challenge stickers, they are now available for October and November on my web shop. Um, Kathleen, may I ask you to put the link up pretty, pretty please? They're up on my web shop um, just as of now. Uh, I can show them to you like very quickly. Those are the two sheets. Woohoo! Uh, these are real mixed media stickers. You can do whatever it is you want to them. They will stick on the paper. I know that February, March, there was some issues with the stickers. They were not sticking as well. I've already told you why. Um, there's so many ways to create texture. So many ways to create texture, Sharon. You don't need stencils or texture paste or whatever for that. Give it a think. Uh, they're now available on my web shop and they will only be available until Sunday midnight. So night from Sunday till Monday, Central European time. That's when I take them down. I only produce a certain amount of them. So if you want yours, now is the time to order. Don't be scared off by the price. I know it says nine euros, but that is because you're getting two sheets in one envelope. Oh, camera. Hello, focus. Thank you. Um, you're getting two sheets shipped at one time so you're only paying shipping once for the two spreads and then another thing which i had prepped here too here they are which are up on the shop now too are the big words stickers are they properly in the image yes um so as i made a big journal i needed big words to go with it and that sticker sheet is available in the web shop as well it is plain wide because i want you to be able to give it whatever color or whatever it is you want to give them so that is why they are only available in wide with nothing on them i want them to be yours when you use them to be yours to alter in the way that you want them that is all i had to say for tonight are we ready for the not this time challenge? I don't know why, but I feel a certain stress on the other side of the camera. I can feel it all up to here. Keep reading. It's just some art channeling. It's just that one little thing that we do in our journal five minutes a day. Don't stress yourself. Um, okay, let's see if I can catch up. You can do hexagons. I might do hexagons, but I won't because I've already put down the first layer this afternoon and no hexagons. I'm really stepping away from what I'm usually doing. <laughs> People are already cheering each other on. I think that Kathleen is frantically looking for the link. Let's see if I can find it because I know where it is, so it is easier for me. This must be so interesting for you to look at. Me scrolling on my computer and um, doing things on the computer. And here they are, here is the link. Copy. Coming back to you guys. There we go, There, because you need to do a refresh, Kathleen. Uh, they were invisible and now they're back to visible. There we go. Now we have the link. 
Did you post the link, Kathleen? Maybe YouTube decided that you were not allowed to put a link up. But now you all have the link if you want to go and have a look at the um, October, November sticker sheets. There they are. If you are one of my patrons, we have a date. <laughs> um, give me, please, five to ten minutes to change my setting up because I need to get my camera back on the other side. Um, and I need to move some cables around for that to happen. And I need to move that light back to that side so that we can have enough light to work. And then I will be finishing up the spread that I started last time in my big journal. If you're not one of my patrons, you have five to ten minutes to sign up and it will give you immediate access to tonight's hangout for as much as five dollars for a full month with several hangouts, live hangouts, live journal with me. So if you're thinking about it, now's a good time to do so. Um, Okay, good luck everyone, like Abby says. <laughs> For my patrons, see you in a couple of minutes. For all the other butterflies, I'm looking forward to see you. Don't tell me you cannot hear this. You you can hear this, right? It's like like he's taking his house down down or something. <laughs> oh my god. That's that's a problem when you're doing a live. Um <laughs> Okay, I'm looking forward to see you in the closed Facebook group. If you're not a member yet, just ask to join. Please do answer the questions. It makes it a lot easier for us to let you in. Have a wonderful Sunday. Have a wonderful end of the day. Wonderful evening, depending on where you are. Butterfly kisses, everyone. See you next time. Bye-bye. I need to find where I need to log out. And this is the one. I'm gone. Bye.